Quick miss. Yeah, flash of a chance there for Exotic, who I think didn't quite predict the misses that were going to come in from the oxygen defense. There could be another one here. Itachi forces it, it is, for Tira. It just makes it look so simple, and it's 1-0 coming, Cole. Well, it looks so simple because Itachi's doing most of the work here. He gets behind Rise. He was storming through the midfield as well, and Batira has... ...and his former teammate just to boom that ball away. Seven seconds left of game one. It's been pretty comfortable for KC, but Auction have woken oh up in the last goodness. 30 seconds. This is a real chance, oh Rise, and it's met again by Vatira. That old connection just keeps on shining on. Archie tries to pop up the Jorius. Jorius wasn't expecting it. Wow. And it is going to be victory in game one for... Ooh. Both of the defenders, but Rise quickly cut out and can't get the follow-up shot. But now they've got to worry about the defensive side. <laughs> it turns around that quickly, Cole. It's unbelievable. Oxygen are looking the more likely. They're having more play. They almost score themselves. And then the ball lands on Vatira's Fennec. And the rest is history, Turtle. It's so consistent from him. It doesn't look difficult at all. But he's just flicked it past a, a brilliant 1v1 player, a brilliant team. And he does it over and over again. It could be, though, a quick equalizer. Hachi has the ball, but it's Hachi. He was the one we said closed players down. And he's doing his job perfectly right there. Ooh, Maybe he has a chance Itachi, as well to put yeah. it in. Yeah, it's still Itachi. All about these decision-making uh, plays, too, for K-Corp. Exotic chooses the challenge that early, and you'll notice Itachi has faith and trust in his teammate to win that challenge. He's more and more dominant in the series. A reminder of that 4-0 last Ooh, time they played. Might just be there. That. That, that is insane. Is, that's, that, that, that is a genius read. Look at the way he's reading this play. He's positioning himself in between all of the passing lanes, can cut it out, knows that's the last man back too, so he takes the... ...aware of how impactful seeding can be. It just gives your team an easier matchup when you get to the major, and you can build momentum early on. Of course, if you're going to win the whole tournament, it's you got to beat well, everybody. Right? Yeah, and you got to beat everybody, but it's the belief, it's the, the confidence moving into San Diego. So seeding is huge, especially for the mental sides of things. But if we're going to look at the mental side of Carmine Corp, they are confident, it's been composed, and they're about to take game number two. It's, it's looking pretty machine-esque right yeah. now. For Equally on the field, but it's going to be hard because you don't have players like Itachi, Exotic, and Batira on your side, but you do have Archie, who can certainly answer the call. Yeah, waking up after a technical pause is a huge skill that Rocket League players have to have. Keep themselves warm, Ooh. keep their minds sharp. Oxygen of sharp. Who gets it past Itachi, but not quite Batira, and then sends it back to the Oxygen half. Oh, but that was a big demo from RP. Oh. I'm noticing more physical plays. This is such confusion inflicted from Oxygen Esports onto the defensive side. You're getting demos. You're going between each other. Two players are up. Batira doesn't know who's going to take this. And for the most part in this game, Carmine Corp have been slightly off on their estimations. And oh. maybe another miss well from KC on the backboard around the defender and right in front of the net. Look at that from Jarius. That extra touch there over the top of Atachi of all people to utilize the chaos and the unpredictability. Yeah. And that's what they've done. And it seems these sort of these speed little aerial, aerials, you know, suggesting that you're going to tee it up for yourself right. and then having a teammate nip in. Maybe Carmine Corp's kryptonite. Essentially, the sloppier the game is, the more in favor it will be for Oxygen. Uh, you know, Carmine Corp want to stay spaced out. They want to maintain in a better look. And I'd say they're fighting fire with fire, getting more physical themselves. Oh, wow. and Batira mind games him, weaves his way through, and scores first. It was sure set in the Fennec that brought wow. this car into the meta with dribbles like this. And I feel like Vatira was channeling. Tag must have he had had in that series, in that game, to make you think about him anytime somebody with the Fennec dribbles and Jorius, he's on the Fennec. We're not thinking about Shaw set this time because he's high, he's flying high. Yeah, that was not a dribble at all. That was Jorius feeling the boost, getting round, and just reading the ball better than Atachi. Yeah. You have a better, better angle on it. Rise up against Vatira. Vatira wins this one with the challenge. Seven seconds left now. Jorius out wide. Exotic loses the ball to Rise. Rise is backwards, the little bump. Doing him any good. That one will go to the ceiling. Is anyone oh, going to keep it up? Down? Exotic does keep it up. Tries to tee up his teammate. Atachi's coming in. Can't go over Rise though. More good defending from him. And we do two undefeated teams in overtime this event. Carmine Corp 6 0 in overtimes. Might be 7 here. Ooh. This one goes in. 
They remain the only undefeated overtime team. Itachi sinks it, and it's 3-1 in the series. 7-0 in OTs, Itachi by himself. There was nobody in the midfield. This man just cleared it all the way down and saw that nobody from Oxygen hung around for a bit. Doris puts it out wide. And Casey already starting this game on the up. And Itachi's coming in. It could be 1-0 on. He squeezes the crossbar, but Itachi's going to follow it. The KC weapon is rolling. Yeah, I mean, he's back in that comfortable throne, reading the position, reading the play, and how it's going to develop perfect. Bonds would be beneficial quickly, sniped out from Itachi. I mean, Carmen Corp are looking for perfection. They're another one, another one. Into another grand finals this split, into another grand right. finals this season, and get their third regional wow. victory in a row. And you can see why they're just so fluid, Turtle. Yeah, and that was. And they're just beginning to dominate this game. Here we go, Itachi. Off the backboard, could make it three. Exotic <laughs> is going to make it three. No double tap, but a good follow-up. We aren't even at the halfway point, and we're seeing KC be as dominant as ever. And I'm thinking back to what was perfectly Ooh. Rice coming out the goal. Can't quite nip in either. Noxton running out of time. Does look good from Rise though, extending ah. that rotation. Oh. And now cutting out early, Batira is caught in no man's land and it's a freebie given. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I think Batira expected Atachi to get the double tap. So when Atachi missed it off the side, Batira was left straight. Having trust in your teammates to hit that double tap. I'm, I'm trying here, That's man. the right I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. And now 1v1, Batira Rise, old teammates against each other. And Batira reminds him, Who's sitting at the top of the food chain? The show of hands, who didn't expect Vatira to score here? Anyone? Anyone in the class? Anyone? No, no, everybody hey, back. Because, because Vatira, uh, because we're out of the broken wrist. Oh, it could be five. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. Archie, how are you gonna do this off the kickoff? Five to one, <laughs> halfway point. He didn't have any boost either. Man, turn their attention to the grand final. Yep. The chance of winning three in a row. Ooh. Is 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 that a tilter? I don't I don't know what exactly their mentality is going into into this uh this grand final as 30 seconds left, okay, you know? Do I want to be that guy and say no, possible? Don't. Come yeah, on. Don't, well, let's do it. Alright, yeah, okay. Okay, Come do on. It. Let's do it. Let's do it. Believe. Alright, oxygen, this is gonna be the craziest kick. I mean, we're getting the first tiebreaker situation in EU to make a major. This is it's gonna be a three-way tiebreaker that will be broadcasted uh, after the grand final. So then now we also get to witness potential history in the making with KC winning three regional events in a row within a split. No team has done that in Europe, and they just might make history. This ball actually wants to hit the ground and let me stop talking. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, you can stop. You're fine. You're fine. The ball will hit.